In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to add a door with a piezo output in ProWatch. This is typically done when you want to have a built-in output to trigger a horn or a light for the specific reader alarms. We are going to click on Hardware Configuration. Then we'll locate the site that we wish to add this reader to. And we're going to go down to the Panels folder, right-click, and do New Logical Device. For the description, we'll name, give it the name of the reader. In this case, we're going to create a reader called Employee Door. The hardware template. This is going to be a door with piezo control. Next, we'll verify that we have the correct panel selected to which the reader is attached to a reader board. And then for the hardware class, we're going to choose Readers. This is what will create your folders over here on the left to contain this reader. We're going to click Next. You notice it automatically, the template automatically has a door position, a horn, a lock, a reader, and a Rex already predefined. All we have to do is choose the initial reader port. In this case, we're going to use reader 1. As you can see, we have a built-in template. It automatically picked the default ports that are commonly used. We're going to click Finish. As you can now see, it did create a reader's folder. I'm going to open it up, go to Logical Device Details, and you can see that all the devices have been assigned. We're going to click on the reader, double click on it, and go to Reader Settings. This is where you can set up all your settings for your reader. In this case, we're going to look at the strike time and the held time. The strike time is how long the door will remain unlocked once it has a valid read. The held time is a countdown timer that once the door is opened and the timer has expired, before the door is closed, it will generate a held door alarm. To the right of this, you'll see your extended strike time and extended held time. These are set up to honor an ADA setting in America's Disabilities Act that may be assigned to a card. If the setting is found, it will use these extended times to give the person more time to get through the door and to allow the door to close. The keypad mode, if it is a keypad reader, you would select the mode. Most commonly, you use Hue's ID, which is a 4-bit pin. The LED mode uh, modifies the behavior of the LED light on the reader. The offline mode, this is the setting the reader will use if the reader board cannot connect or talk to the panel. It can check for just check for the facility code, or it can go to a locked or unlocked state. The default mode, the most common is card and pin, card only, or card or pin. We're going to choose card only for this one. The card format is the format of the cards that this reader should be reading and, and deciphering in order to transmit back the card number. And then of course we want to have weekend pulse checked. Everything looks okay, we're going to click OK, and we're going to click OK. For more videos, please visit https colon slash slash honeywelldiscovertraining.com. Thank you.